Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to SRU. In this playthrough, me and the guys are going to be doing another World War II campaign, but this time it's co-op. We have myself as the guy with the mustache that everyone hates, Rez as the bald dude who loves pasta, and Narfi as the emperor of some islands out by a bunch of other islands. <laughs> the goal here is to win the war, wipe out the allies, so I hope y'all enjoy. We will see you in the game. Berlin! Berlin! I have the funny guy with the mustache. Ha ha ha. All oh, right, I start out at war with Ethiopia. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that's gonna be fun. I forgot about that. I gotta make sure my military is set up in a certain way before we unpause. I gotta prioritize that a little bit. Yeah, my alert condition starts out at elevated, so that's fun. You would think that Germany would have the Jaegers, the Tuscan Jaegers. No, they uh, the Brandenburgers. You can get the Foster Jaegers later, I think, but your the Brandenburgers are what you want right now. All right, interesting. Italy apparently has a, a script or two that I didn't really know about at the start that even works in multiplayer that was surprising they have scripts that place supply depots of all things also i will support the event germany reoccupies the rhineland yes my rhineland i need my living swamp And if you guys could support or uh, well, fund the insurgency of Ethiopia while their military approval is already pretty low due to just starting the game out, that would be most appreciated. Done that. Got it. are actually definitely better 320 300 so that one can actually go further well that one has more supply narfi i'm sending you a trade for a bunch of treaties and yada yada Thank okay you. so there would have been one or two militarized... Con no, actually, not even militarized. The UK just has military bases, like, spread throughout some of its colonies. Tank. I can only make one tank. For supplies, tank. mainly. I guess it's fine Sorry. if the UK has that. That makes more sense, anyway. Alliance formed already. Woo! And I'll get one going to Shibi as well. Oh, okay. I was actually about ready to start on yours. Oh, okay. Well, I set one already. Alright, there we go. The axis has been formed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> formed really, really early. Are we going to ally with historical Axis members like Hungary and Romania? No, I am. 
You are? Yeah. Okay, I'll start supporting Hungary, Romania, and I believe Bulgaria was also in it. Oh yeah, there's also Spain. Spain was borderline Axis. Should we befriend them too? I can get an alliance with Spain right now. Yeah, don't they get a coup d'etat fairly early on? They might, yes. That is true. Do. Yeah, I can get an alliance I... with them as well. You yeah, want to get it just for funsies? Just for shits and giggles? Sure, why not? Just for just for funsies. Alright. Fucking alliance and everything with Spain, cause why not? I can't get it with Romania yet. I can get everything else. Yeah, Romania and them are gonna take a little bit longer. Was there anyone else? Not really. I know this, uh, the Soviets, script-wise, are going to eat all of the Baltics, by the way. What what's you what's your strategy, Germany, by the way? My strategy? Not to clear war in the fucking U.S. and take Russia. <laughs> 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 Don't be a dumbass. Secure my, uh, secure my Western Front first. First, I gotta fix my my own house. <laughs> yes, for once you will take Ethiopia. <laughs> Not have Would some be the first time that definitely takes it. <laughs> I have some weird fucking peace treaty half line drawn down the goddamn middle. <laughs> oh yeah, with the way this shit always goes. I think there's some rubber here, maybe? No. Yes, there's some in one of my colonies. Very little. Very little. I'll take Britain, I take the Malayan states. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how that goes. <laughs> well you could you could also go for Siam, like uh, like was said. Also Indochina later. You have the rubber market in your hands and we place our trust in you. Yes. I will take it. You are the rubber guy. Don't you worry. <laughs> It's so nice being in World War II and not having, like, two hours worth of technology for designs that I already have <laughs> or need to get to go through. I forgot how terrible my starting tanks were. Well, Germany's are actually all of our start out shit. Garbage. Pull a Hitler and get the Czechoslovakian one. <laughs> Let me see what design it was, but I'm sure, the, yeah, the Panzer 35T, that one. It's super cheap, too. Or you could get the Russian one. The T-35. The T-35 is a bit of a gas guzzler, though. It's real good, but it has very little utility. The Czechoslovakian one's probably a better overall tank. Like like a Sherman versus yeah, a T-30 anything. Yeah. Yeah.
UK denies aid to France. Despite growing fears of German militarization with the reoccupation of the Rhineland, British Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden has turned down French requests for military aid. Say la vie. Ha ha ha, they surrender. I will crush the friends. Alright, let's see. How's my supply looking? Oh, damn it, I hate. I hate having colors I can't see. Supply is pretty shit over here, so why don't we do this? Why don't we? Forgot to do that. Build a airbase. Damn, Ethiopia's military approval still going. And Paraguay got a fascist regime. Support. I support. Support les fascists. Support them. Paraguay. So how does it feel to be the inventor of fascism? Hmm. Historically, actually, um, Mussolini was the first fascist dictator. Yeah. Yeah, I was referring to that, actually. Oh, oh. I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, I didn't do it. <laughs> feels pretty good. It also feels good knowing that in less than 10 years, I'm going to run for my life while my country surrenders, and some guy's going to recognize <laughs> me on the street and kill me. Ooh, should we add Paraguay into the alliance? Uh, well, I mean, that best. event might not that event might not actually turn them into much, but I definitely support it. You support it, okay. How's my supply around Berlin? 52? God damn. Everything just has a fucking airfield. Maybe a goddamn air base. Huh. Italy starts out with no barracks. Interesting. I was not aware that they don't even start out with a barracks here. The more you know. Where is the nearest barrack? Is it like only the Ethiopian barracks? That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Uh, that is kind of fucked up. Alright, let's not go on a spending spree. Um, let's see. Let's scrap that. Oh shit, I already had one there. Alright, uh. No, we'll still build the military, cancel that airbase. We're gonna pump that up to normal. And instead, we'll build a. We'll build some land. Oh, you already have the capital. Yeah, but the capital's gonna be a pain in the ass. My infantry's not moving as fast as the tanks. The tanks kind of got there a little early. It appears your tanks are out of supply as well. Yeah. Fucking desert. 
The supply trucks are moving slow as fuck, too. I did get rid of this armored recon, though. The infantry's starting to catch up with all the arty, though. The Italian tanks of this time are terrible as well, which doesn't help. But I know I do have a, at least one supply depot, so that should be moving supplies down the road, which will help when the infantry move up. The south is going just fine, though. Hmm. The south is going much better. Tank tech, nearly naval electronics. Submarines, type 7, type 1, type 2. Two seven five two eight. So the type 1 is actually better than the type 7. Okay. Costs a little bit more to build. Things to build for the end a little bit longer. For five more hit points, and. Capital ship, the Deutschland. This one. 420, 400. 360 days to build. Costs the same. That has more range. Same supplies. Yeah, I'll let the AI build between them. The escort ship. Oh god. Our merchant ship, yeah, sure. Patrol ships, uh, at class patrol ship, 41 kilometer range, or visibility, 13. All right, let's get ready. They have a lot of arty out here at their capital that I have to deal with. Whole bunch of it. then uh, I'm still going through like getting rid of all the obsolete units <laughs> gotta get my military standardized I've barely been looking through that I have to focus on what's happening over here Six. 
damage, zero. What military? Germany doesn't have a military. Wink, wink. All oh, right. I mean these uh, peacekeeper um, things. <laughs> to go tear up that fucking treaty of the side is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> I started building barracks in Ethiopia now that the push has kind of slowed down. I don't know how many reinforcements I'm gonna need, but I know I'm not gonna end up at war in the beginning of the game, so I'm just kind of putting everyone into boats to go to Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be excessive, I know that, but I want to get it done with quickly so I can focus on other things. Try down here in Ethiopia. Six huh. percent. <laughs> it gets even worse the closer to the front you get. Every town down here counts. The lack of the barracks is the real thing that hurts you in the beginning. Your plane, planes do, uh, don't reach. <laughs> How do they? Uh, planes cannot move very far in this um, era. Yeah. I did send one unit early on to test if I could actually access the Suez and woo, I can. So that's nice. I wouldn't see why not. Uh sometimes troops have a hard time getting through the Suez. You've seen the pileups in the oh, other yeah. scenarios yeah, of like true. things outside the Suez. So I just wanted to make sure that I could actually do it. They have so much arty in that little barracks of theirs, oh my god. Too much fucking arty.
Maybe it's good I'm sending so much. Maybe that will actually just help me overwhelm them. Who knows? I'm gonna try to send them in like waves though, just because of supply. Yeah, little, become little by little. Yeah. The barracks are gonna take forever to build. Britain announces naval buildup. I condemn this, sir. I condemn. I can get everything but an alliance with Hungary, so that's good. Facility time, industry goods, annual maintenance. Well, I might have to use gold since it's this for oil. Just might have to. Doesn't do a whole lot though. Oh my god, I took something! Ah! Oh. I'm maintaining one to one ratio. I have 16 kills, 16 deaths. It's so annoying to keep it positive while actually pushing quickly. So annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your cavalry. Send in yeah, the dude. <laughs> Send in the cavalry. Literally, literal cavalry. Now that I'm next to them, though, I can quite literally just grind away at them if I so choose. I might lose some units of my own doing it, but I think it's worth it. These are all trash units anyway. They're all like infantry. Like, they're not good infantry either. They're just infantry. Not special forces. Not marines. Just infantry. Infant like, yuck. Yeah. The yucky kind. My planes can't even reach the capital. They turn back the moment they're about to arrive. <laughs> oh my god, I have 22 inns. And I have more units in the south, it's just they're in the desert and they need time and supply. I think I finally took their fucking barracks, though. I just had to kill the one offensive unit that was on top of it. I killed all the artillery, so now I'm actually at a positive KDR. So the capital should fall soon. And then if it does, I could just send all these units that are on the way back. But they're, they're getting here in case I need them. have their military base anyway. That's another land production and an airfield! I don't want to land there though. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Oh, Germany. Das. I'm 
I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you for some designs. Sure. And here's some money. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I'm supporting you. Yeah, I'm supporting you. I'm gonna make sure I'm supporting Japan. I'm supporting Japan. All right, just want to make sure. There you go, sir. I just like barely don't have enough units at the front to grind away at them fully, but I'm doing my best. I need aircraft production too. I'm sending everything. Do you need some help? No, I'm gonna do it. It's just taking me a minute. <laughs> 